Hello everyone, um, welcome to, uh, maybe Let's Play One Drunken Night. I don't know if I'm gonna do the full game here, um... Okay, I, I think it's worth knowing that I received a free copy of this game, not specifically to Let's Play it, but, um... I did, um, but like, okay, the story behind how I got this game is kind of insane, um... This game by Professional Imagination. Okay, so, I have played a game by this developer before, I'm not gonna say what the game is, because I kind of want you to guess, because you will never guess, because, like, its tone and, like, art style are completely different, to the point of which when, uh... <laughs> like, true story, when the developer started promoting this game, I actually thought his account was hacked at first, like, it's that different. Um, <laughs> this is, like, a raunchy, like, game about a drunk knight, the other one was, um... <laughs> Um, so basically, I, I you know, I, I, I like this developer. I was gonna play the demo for this, but, like, the demo kept not loading properly, and I was talking with the dev asking, like, hey, is there a way we can get this to work? And then the dev just gave me a free Steam code, which did work, and then fixed the demo, um, and said, oh, I, I didn't realize you were trying to get the demo to work, not the full game. Anyway, enjoy a free copy of the game. Um, so I figured I might as well... <laughs> Might as well do a video on it to show it off. Um, Newith. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what kind of game is this? <laughs> Act one. Hungover. I notice all our our like alcohol meters up top. I, I am not an alcohol guy personally. What thy fornication? Oh my god, this game's art style is so stupid, but I think that's the point. Okay, uh, here we go. We are the Drunken Knight. Is the game, like, like diegetically, like, a player? So, oh my god, the owl has a mouth outside the beak that looks so weird. Ha, <laughs> you're finally awake. What is the, the, like, okay, it's A. I have any idea how bored I was getting. My name is Archibald Galahad Makut the Third, and I'm the keeper of the Ali Grail. You can. And now you are too, to everyone's delight. Oi, I know who you're thinking, but it's a bloody owl. For your information, I'm a magical in shite and I am about a thousand years old or so up yours, you can. Yo, you're the amazing Kiro Zen, leader of the Great Knights of Zen, Master of the Flame, Hero of the Seven Kingdoms, and blah blah blah. Why are you here? You're a cursed man, I know not the best news. Short version is you had your bachelor party last night and blacked out. Now you need to re retrace your steps and get your ass to your wedding. If I- if I ken your wifey-to-be, you're already in deep shite, mate. Anywho, nice to see you up and about, you bloody drunken arse. I- I have a very hard time reading dialogue like that, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so, you wanna guess what this developer also made? Um, maybe I should get into, like, a battle or something first, when, when I actually have some downtime. Listen up, you, pe you piss-smelling peacock. As you might have noticed, you're not doing so well right now. I won't go into details, but your liver is shot from all that drinking last night, so you got to restore some of your pathetic, slow-decaying life. Up here in the corner is your life tolerance, and it's going down as we speak. Okay. There's two ways of raising your liver's tolerance. Kill an enemy and steal its liver, <laughs> or you can pet a friendly critter with the P key, or right bumper. Does this game have controller support? Maybe I should get my controller real quick. Uh, give me one moment. Alright, um, 
I've commandeered my PS4 controller. Let's see if this works. Bing, bing, bing. Ah, here we go! Okay. They'll give you um, part of their lever for free. Can you imagine? Oh, this already feels nicer. <laughs> Those attention-hungry hoovers. You can also try the F key or left bumper. See, what, is, uh, what does that do, hey? Oh my god! I... <laughs> I, oh my god. Oh my god, he's got the stupid walking perk from Le West of Loathing. I, okay, okay, then. Alright, let's pet every sheep and then... Punk them, or punt them out of here. <laughs> also, I think that's a stock sound effect, that sheep. Ooh, who left uh, the, the haggis in the sun all day? Would you uh, peek a gander at that ugly thing? I reckon we best destroy the bloody thing and take its liver. It doesn't have a litter liver. It, <laughs> it just press any mother fortification button you drunk dope. X key to uh, key or button to punch. C or Y to kick. And if I ever hear you complain about the controls being shite, you're drunk. What did you expect? Go ahead, lad. Kick the bony arse all day way back to hell. So this game has like okay, okay. Uh, oh, what, is, what is this? Oh my god! So this is like like a combat platformer that has terrible controls on purpose. That's funny. Like, I I I am attacking, right? I don't think I was doing that correctly. Uh. First Peasel. Okay, let me just get used to, like, how this works. Okay, so Circle is like, is like a slow walk? That's a kick. That's a punch. Oh, a Black Sheep. Oh, pfft. Do you really have to... I think you have to, like, see some of the text before you can actually, like, 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 um, go forward, I guess. Okay, let, let's try this again. I want to. I want to kick you out of the room. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, okay, that did give me some nice. Okay, first kill. Uh, sorry about the cut there. I had to. Uh, I had to to stop recording for a second. But um, <laughs> let's just go through this fight. Actually, as I do this fight, I think I'll go ahead and explain like, like um, what other game from this developer I have played for the channel before. Um. Max, an autistic journey. I think that's what the name of the game was. It was kind of like a, it was kind of like an earthbound, like the kind of RPG maker game about the day in the life of an autistic kid going to school. And the reason why it's kind of earthbound, like he is that like the game would use the kid's autism and like he would like come up. He would like basically imagine all these like monsters, all the locations he would go, and the game would use that as justification for like <laughs> some of the stuff you'd fight in that game. <laughs> it was a really creative game, and even as some with autism myself, I feel like I learned a lot from it. And like, so imagine like like you know, a few years back, I played this really wholesome game from this guy about like autism, like borderline edutainment type of game too, but with a lot of cool like features and like plot points to it. And then suddenly, you see the developer promoting this. <laughs> Can you blame me for thinking his account got hacked or something? Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> Can you blame me for, like, thinking something happened? Because this is, like, the, the farthest from that type of game you can possibly get. <laughs> and, like, ever since I saw... Oh god, do I really have to... Can I skip cutscenes? 
Uh, that, okay, that full screen's the game. Okay, I don't think I can really skip cutscenes, so we'll just have to go through this again for a third time now. <laughs> the drunken experience. But yeah, th this developer is, like, really neat. I, I, I like, I really liked Max and Autistic Journey. I was kind of curious if they would do more RPG Maker stuff, but they made this instead, so I'm just... I, I, I need to know what this game is about, you know? Like, it's... <laughs> Okay, so there's, like, actual honest-to-god platforming in this. So it seems like, okay, your character has, like, a bunch of tripping animations and stuff, but it seems that doesn't actually, like, change their hitbox at all. What you're seeing is a magic bucket. Anytime we stumble upon a new area, I'll keep a record of our journey. However, sometimes you can magically save your, uh, your position by literally kicking this bucket. So if you kick the bucket, and you've kicked the bucket, it'll bring us back to where you kicked the bucket. It's a checkpoint. Okay, thank you. How do I kick again? There. <laughs> oh, uh, hi. Oh, what is that thing? I... Uh, there's someone throwing... There we go. You can punch and kick in the air. Let's take advantage of that. I will say, one criticism I do kind of have right now, it's kind of hard to tell, um... It doesn't seem like holding or pressing jump makes you go higher or lower. One criticism I do kind of have right now is, like, it's kind of hard to tell when you're dealing damage to an enemy and vice versa based off, like, the game's effects alone. Now, okay, given any criticism I might have with this game might very well be intentional given the whole premise of it, but, like, y you know, like... <laughs> oh, watch out, this is important. As you might have noticed, this here be a deadly river. If you sink, you're dead, but the, uh, they'd, they'd be a box to help you get across. You need to find a way to push it, but your wee arms and legs are too weak for punching and kicking. Here's a tip. Drinking gives you special powers I know. Great lesson for the Wii Let's. Just press shift or left trigger to summon the powers of the Holy Great Ale or move precisely. Okay. Oh. What? Wait. Thank you for censoring it, by the way. Oh my god, there's a piss button. I... Hold on, that doesn't feel far enough. I... <laughs> Is there, like, a like a resource I need to maintain to do this? Oh my god. You can piss 30 feet in the air straight up and not get wet. You get no money down. <laughs> I wonder if that has combat applications. Oh god, this- this- these are re this- oh god, oh god, okay, okay. <laughs> the controls are very slippery when platforming. I will say, another criticism I kinda wish is like, I really wish the tutorials weren't in ye old language, or ye old Shakespearean, or whatever you want to call this, cause like, I, it is, I, I feel like I didn't quite understand what- what hurt me? Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I feel like I didn't quite understand what the game was asking me to do there, or telling me to do, because, like, words like the are- are obfuscated. <laughs> but I, I need to take care of these, okay. I guess, One Drunken Night in Spyro, my two favorite games where killing she- or, like, doing stuff to sheep gets you- uh, 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 <laughs> where doing stuff to sheep gets you, uh- <laughs> health back. <laughs> That's a projectile! Okay. You can punt the sheep. What is my max health right now? It's like, it looks like 30. 
Yeah, I can go above that, but it very quickly, um, like, drops back down to 30. So I guess it's like, I guess the cap is 30, and if you go above it, it just automatically resets. I just noticed that it's playing royalty-free hallelujah well, when you do that. <laughs> okay, there's an alligator around here somewhere. There it is, I see it. Ah! Okay, good, I made it. Hey, give me your health. Uh, I, I can't get it. I wasn't expecting that at all. Anywho, as you can see, drinking will give you drunk powers. Don't worry, though. Plenty of other alcohol in these lands. We'll have a chat ab uh, about it in good time. That lever is too far to reach, and those big spiky rollers aren't going to be any good for your health. If only there was a way to push the lever from over here. Using your body fluid, does that ring a bell? Anything? No bloody clue? Just piss on the thing. <laughs> no, I want to pet the sheep. Wait, 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 you can cancel? You can cancel petting the sheep with your piss power! Wait. I... Uh... Oh, oh, I, that is that is not how I expected that to work. Um, okay. Another checkpoint, good. That, that missed. Okay, this is a good time to test this, actually. Uh. That can kill enemies! It's very weak, but when, when you are very far away from an enemy, it, it can do the trick. Okay, um... Cool, cool. <laughs> oh, a chicken. Oh, hi. You know, that mind your liver pop up, maybe that's why, um. Oh, uh oh. Okay, okay. No, I died. Okay. Maybe that Mind Your Liver pop-up was intentional because the devs also know that this... W it, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on sometimes. <laughs> There's gotta be more combat moves at some point, right? Like... Oh, do I have to reactivate the checkpoint? That's weird, if that is the case. Rain on me. Rain on me. Don't cross the streams. Asparagus? What about a raccoon? What? What? <laughs> yes, okay. How does that work from a physics level? If I push this down, I could probably give myself an escape route against- Ah, uh, the stream is not- is not appearing, uh... Okay. Oh. It seems like kicking is more effective. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> Petting sheep makes you invincible, of course. I, I, buddy, get, get over here. There we go. <laughs> he just... <laughs> he just... 
it did materialize what? Oh, not bad, not bad. In all honesty, I wasn't expecting to survive past the first skeleton, but you proved me wrong for now. Anywho, if you want to check anything, I've written down while you're playing round in the sand, press OK or start. I'll show you the magic book I use to keep a record of our journey. If you want to restart an area or whatever, that's the way. Should you want to quit, just hit start screen, OK. Oh, that's a lot of levels. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, and these are... This game has content. What is this? Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, load options. Punch. Block. Jump. Jump. Interact. Oh! Wow, that's a lot of powers. Firepower? Enemies dance. Credits. <laughs> what? <laughs> I will say, another criticism I kind of have... I kind of wish there was, like, some kind of accessibility option to turn off the... What was that? I kind of wish there was some sort of option to turn off all these crazy effects, because, like, they really do add to the experience, but they, they might, like, just physically make the game very nauseous to play for some people. And not in, like, a fun kind of way, you know? You just found a training sword and shield. As sure as the cows fly, they suck badly. Just like you, so you should feel very comfortable with them. To use the sword, just piss like always. What? To block of your shield, hold down the control key. Oh, that's how that ducking thing was. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's got spikes on it, which makes me think that maybe you could, like, you could, like, spike shield with it. So this uses the sword? Oh no, that uses the sword. Okay, ooh. Oh, I'm collecting stuff. Whatever we hear is called a shot, or if you will, a shot of alcohol. As soon as you get some booze on you, your tolerance stops going down. It's like the hair on the dog. You see the green barrel in bar on your head at the top there, the drunkenness. That's your drunkenness level. If your drunk level is higher than your tolerance, you barf. Ten shots of the same type will activate a drunk power. The shot glasses are up in the middle there, will always show you what um, what shots you have. If you want to learn more, just go to the magic book and scroll. Oh! Okay, so that that's an interesting power. Oh, uh, no, 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 oh, I think I died there. No, no, I didn't die. Um, oh, that reset everything! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I think I just screwed up this tutorial. <laughs> yeah, there's that floating gin up there that I, I didn't collect, but whatever, we can take out these enemies. Interesting, okay, I kind of like this, like, tolerance, like, drunkenness thing you have to, like, you have to, like, balance. Oh. Hello. Barbados. You dare show your face here. That is a hard font to read. Oh my god. Kiro, don't look now, but this guy has a sheet tattooed on his forehead. That's funny. Also, his uh, berries are sticking out. Like uh, like two golf balls in a beige sock. Well, speak. Answer him. What's wrong with you? It's the berries, ain't it? I know, it's hypnotic. It's amnesia again. Hey, and if that's, uh, that's never been a... D um, Done in a game before. Right. Anyway, where, um, where was I? Yes. I will defend my daughter's honor by spilling your blood. Daughters? 
with uh, with an S. I'm not I'm not sure I want um, you so close to me anymore. I will curse your soul the way you have cursed mine. You want some of this? Yeah, berry dangling prick. Go ahead, laddie. Kick this loving father in the nuts. Don't forget to pet or to catapult a few beasts for support. Okay. Does he actually have exposed balls? I need to look at the sprite. I need to know if I need to censor this or not. I might need to censor this. <laughs> it's very subtle, but you can see it. Don't oh, mind your liver. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me heal, let me heal. Hey! <laughs> what is this game? That's neat! <laughs> so I activated 10 Jin, I got the Jin power. Kinda of surprised the game doesn't let me do it on the boss. That kinda of feels like it'd be appropriate. Uh... Okay, that's the kick button. Okay, I gotta remember that for this boss. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Uh, what? The blue oyster. What? Wait, what? <laughs> can't attack him. <laughs> Stay in the light. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Oh, this is like a mini game. <laughs> what? <laughs> you dance with the enemy. I don't know what that did exactly, but what? done. There we go. All right. Well done, lad. I doubt we'll ever see him again. All right, let's go. I, I have no one to dance with. I... <laughs> Can I dance with you? Oh god, I... I uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, okay, I, 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 stop, get out, get out, get out, get out!
Oh my god! Oh, there was a bucket there! Okay, okay, I didn't actually see that, but okay. This is a place where we first met last night. You probably don't remember seeing how you uh, you were plastered. Guess who's gonna have to guide your your um your arse out of, out of there again, huh? I, oh god! Oh god! Who is Caro? <laughs> it's kind of majestic. I will give it that. Uh... Oh, we're in, like, a new area. Okay. Oh, it's dark in my, um, as my soul in here. You know who needs, um, who you need in the dark place in, in the world? A light beer. Let's go. Rats! Rats! Oh, there are rats in this game. I- Oh god, they, like, stick onto you. I- Blood everywhere. Okay. <laughs> oh my lord. I want to collect whatever tequila does. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Mexico power, my favorite. <laughs> what is this, freaking spring, Mario? What is this? Like? What is this music? <laughs> Okay, this is, like, actually really cool how it, like... How do I act? Do I gotta piss on this again? Uh... Oh god, oh god, okay. <laughs> That's so funny to me that you, like, rust switches instead of flip them. <laughs> so, it seems like the game is doing that thing where, like, you know, these power-ups are, like like, stage progression power-ups as well, like, they're actually very important to, like, make it through stages. Like, the Mexico power gives you a high jump, for example. I hit the wrong button. Uh, <laughs> ah, there we go, I think I just, I just... <laughs> kick it, kick it! <laughs> oh, hi, you again. Oh, God. Okay, is every boss gonna have their balls exposed? Wait. I actually am, um, like, making notes of when to censor stuff. <laughs> You'll not find me, uh, find me so easy to defeat this time, Evil Knight. Look, you did, um, you didn't want to do this, okay? I must defend my daughter's honor. You will never touch them again. What do you mean? Your daughters? Wait. Do you mean your daughters are your sheep? Of course I do. I'm a shepherd. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Well, to each their own, I guess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. His boss are armored, and he found a sheep. Or, I found a shield. Ooh. Oh, ow, 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 okay, okay. Ooh, there's another power here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta pet, I gotta pet some of your sheep. I... <laughs> 
I died. I <laughs> can't! It, it bothers me how, like, every single animal sound is an actual animal, but that 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 cat is, like, just a lady saying meow. <laughs> it's, Dude, oh my Jesus. <laughs> Inside the pee room, fuck you. <laughs> Unlocks. I, I, I saw like a trove of like. I want to grab these. What does this do? I, did that do anything? What, what did it do? Wait. <laughs> How many of these do I have to kick? Oh god, oh god, oh god. I. I what? I. I <laughs> Oh wait, I'm still alive! What? <laughs> I had second chance from Kingdom Hearts. Hold on, I gotta pet some of your sheep. I'm at seven. Hold on, petting sheep makes you invincible. Okay, okay, there. Ah, uh, this again. Okay, okay. I am a little confused. Is this like damaging him or something? Or like giving me more health? Fruit punch? I will say, I do really like the risk reward of. Oh, God, God, God! Oh, I, I killed him. Okay, I killed him with vomit. I really like the risk of ward reward of like being able to use um the sheep both as health pickups and also as weapons. Like that's really cool. Cause like I'm assuming if you kick them, they're removed from the field. That's why there's like a million of them probably. Phew. So kids, what have we learned? If you're gonna, I. D All right, let's uh let's let's go, you farm perv. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Do I have to hit the switch? Is that a switch? What is that? Can I drag and drop kick it? I can drag and drop kick that. Oh, okay. Oh god, we're not even done with the stage yet. Okay, so I um I know how Do not He Owl? What? This is a place where you found me last night, and hey, I was jailed in that bloody cage. Do not free owl, okay. And also, freeing my feathery um it may uh, may have woken up the skeleton army and doomed the planet to extinction. But I'm not. It's not what you think. Oh, boohoo! You know what? All, all you um. Catch me outside! What? Okay, fine. I. Oh, I got I got the Mexico power again. Let's go. Oh my god, it really is like Spring Mario, you just can't stop jumping. I think I died. No, no, I didn't die. Oh god, oh god. Oh, I got some health back. Okay, I need to collect these. Oh, my tolerance isn't that high, though.
What is happening? I... I died again. Okay, I. <laughs> we do start back here, though. Okay, with the power of Mexico, we clearly have to go up this shaft without falling below 10 health, I think, because that'll make it... No, I'm below 10 health. I... I, I blood everywhere, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to finish this. Like, I'm not... <laughs> it looks like I'm like a tenth of the way through the game and these levels are already kicking my butt, plus there's a lot of stuff I need to censor, which, like, I'm... I'm not in the mood. Like, I don't know. I just got off a playthrough where I had to censor something every other playthrough. <laughs> so, like... I wasn't expecting to play much of this anyway, but, like, I don't know. <laughs> I, w I just wanted to, to, like, see what it was, you know? <laughs> like, I needed to see what, what this was. Like what, like, what cooks in the mind of the developer of Max and Autistic Journey when... Oh, God, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm Me oh, God, I'm Mexican again. Okay, <laughs> What is with this developer? I love him. <laughs> Let me up! I need the power to get up there. Oh, oops, wrong one. Let me just see if I can just brute force my way through this. Oh, oh god. No, okay, okay, I still need to... No, I, I think I think you're dead. Oh, what, huh? What, did I win? I think I won. Yeah, Act 5, alright. <laughs> Who are you? I'm happy to see you're alive, brother. I'm surprised you were able to defeat the pyramid. That brother is no small feat, especially after your exaggerated drinking last night. Now that you have the, uh, the, the Owly Grail... Is it a play of words on Holy Grail? That just came to mind. It's up to you to unlock the secret of this temple. Use your Holy Grail to draw the, 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 sha uh, the shaded line symbol on the pyramid. Sorry about that. Carefully, uh, carefully qu uh, quit your spray only when you're finished drawing. Let's solve this mystery once and for all. Only you can. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> you know, we're at about a half hour. Um... <laughs> oh my god. I think that's enough for this game. Oh my god, dude, this this game is insane. I, I, <laughs> I did not expect it to be half this crazy. Uh, how do I close? No, I close the game. Not to loadeth. That sounds like a sound effect from a freaking Sonic game. What is that? I'm gonna assume... God, th this is still only the first area. Jeez, this game is big. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was one drunken night. I an enjoyable time. I am not physically or mentally prepared for. <laughs> I do like this game, but I really did just want to like take a quick look at it. But like, 
Well, whatever. I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.